Hello everybody. This is for all the people that want to do all these crazy challenges, like trying to lose your breath, trying to burn yourself up. I have one word for you. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. Don't make sense. Every time I think about it, it, it don't make no sense. You're burning yourself up like that. Try and stop breathing so that you can pass out. I don't get it. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. You don't like yourself? You want to burn yourself up? That's demonic. That's the spirit of suicide. And if the devil can get you to do that, he can get you to do some other crazy stuff to yourself. Do you know there are people that are really into demonic stuff and witchcraft and they're doing all kind of crazy stuff like that as sacrifices and you don't know what you're walking into. You don't know what you're touching. You don't know what you're about to get involved in. And you're sitting there starting off doing crazy stuff like burning your body and trying to stop. What else can the devil talk you into doing? If he can get you to do that, he can get you to do some other crazy stuff. Why would you want to worry your parents and your loved ones and they get a the phone call? And somebody say, rush to the hospital, your child is on fire. Don't you know the pain that your parents will feel when they walk into their hospital and see you all burnt up and, and or see you, you in convulsions because you decided you wanted to stop breathing? If God wants you dead, he'll kill you himself. You don't need to kill yourself. Stop the madness. Why would you let somebody talk you into doing that? You notice they didn't do it. They told you to do it. They told you, burn yourself up, man. Put this alcohol on, man. I set the match to you. You know what you should have told them? No, you let me set the match to you. Then you tell me how it feels. So, no, you fall for it. You go ahead and you do it. And you don't want to suffer in the hospital. You don't want to got these burns and marks that you can carry the rest of your life. And you that's trying to stop breathing, you're doing some brain damage there. And you don't even realize that you're doing that. You have to have oxygen. And you're cutting it off. Aren't you thinking? Bad choices. Bad choices. Think about it. Never make a decision because you were forced to do it. Or you think it's a joke. Death ain't no joke, sweetie. Death is for real. Getting burnt ain't no joke. I have gotten burnt accidentally cooking something. And it hurts so bad. You must want to get a taste of hell, because that's what hell is like, fire. Fire was not meant for you to burn yourself. It was meant for, not meant for you to cook yourself or roast yourself. It was meant for you to cook food with and do other things that are normal with. Not to burn your skin, burn your flesh off. Look, think about it. You're burning the flesh off of your body. What? What's wrong? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why are you... Trying to burn the flesh off of your body. You don't like your body? You want to walk around with scars all over you? Looking all messed up? Nobody don't want no messed up body all burnt up because you decide, not if you was in a fire or something happened, that's different. But you don't know what you're doing. Don't play with fire, as they say. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. And that's what you're doing. You're playing with fire. It's the time to make some good choices because you know what? Like I said a few minutes ago, if the devil can talk you into doing that, he will talk you into doing something else. Stop the madness. It don't make sense. It just don't make sense. It's not cute. You want some attention? That's not the way to get attention. You want to be noticed? That's not the way to be noticed. Stop the madness. Get a grip, as they say. Make good choices. Don't be influenced by dumb people who are going to tell you to hurt yourself. And you can stand up there and, let you, and hurt yourself just so it's, it's a joke to, to them. They'll just laugh if you burnt. That girl that took that hot water, threw it on her body's back. That was so cruel. And it showed the color of her heart. If she would hurt him like that, what else would she do? Stop the madness. It just don't make sense. I plead with you, I pray for you, that young lady, young man, think about it before you do it. Don't let nobody talk you into hurting yourself or doing anything that's wrong. They want to do it, that's on them. 
But don't you be the stupid one and say, okay, I do it. And you be the one to suffer for it. You'll be the one to carry the scars the rest of your life. Never being able to look nice in your clothes and show part of your beautiful body because it's all burnt up. Make good choices and stop the madness. Please, I'm praying for you that you realize that if you don't make good choices, not only will you suffer, but your loved ones will too. God bless you, and God help you to make good choices and stop the madness.